This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Until let's see here, uh, uh, midnight Eastern time. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. How are you? It's uh, it's uh, Wednesday, and uh, let's see if I can make it through the show tonight without getting all tired and everything like that. Uh, I just I don't know. I'm just I just uh, you know I'm sorry. I'm getting to be an old man. I just feel like aged, uh, if that's the way you want to put it. You know, way aged. All right. Anyway, uh, it's uh, time for us to, it's, it's uh, Wednesday, and on Wednesday, uh, we talk to this guy who is uh, tonight, I guess, coming to us live and direct from, uh, <laughs> from Alcatraz Island. Hold on a <laughs> second. Let me just, uh, let me just uh, do that. There we go. There it is. Okay. And we probably should put your name up to here, too, so that they all know who you are. Well, thank uh, you very much. But I, I just don't know why it, uh, uh, why it's not, uh, I do have Phil's name here. Oh, well, here we go. There yeah, we go. It's, there it's we spelled go. mud. There we go. <laughs> M-U-D. There we go. Yeah, hello, Phil. How are you? Um, I'm just fine. Uh, my audio okay? Yeah, your audio's fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If not, it's if not uh, more so. It's uh, too good, you know. Oh. Well, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, first of all, I noticed that Charlie didn't post anything about COVID tonight, and uh, that's a telling sign because President Biden said, "We're done with COVID. It's over." You believe that? I don't believe it. No, I don't agree with that. I I think that that's getting too lazy with it, and I think. Maybe he's saying it for political reasons, too. Oh, hey, we solved the COVID problem. By yeah. the way, I'm going to get my COVID booster tomorrow. Booster? Yeah. yeah, if I go to Kaiser, I get it on November 11th. But I went over the CBS. Wait a minute, November 11th? Yeah. You can go to CBS and probably get it, what, in a week? Uh, I, I hope so. Uh, I, I was in CVS uh, Sunday and uh there was two people waiting for the flu shot so i didn't want to wait that long yeah you didn't want to wait for the flu shot yeah and and for two people right so um i just uh you know decided to get what i was going to get and and left yeah okay all right You you know um have you been following what's going on uh with uh fed chairman powell uh, the meeting that they had today and what's uh, happening with the economy, uh, in- including uh, what I believe we had today was uh, a signal of recession where you have a reversal of the of the bond yields. And uh, that's that's happened a couple of times before. I'm a and what? A, a reversal of the bond yields. Where oh, the bond two- yields. Yeah, when the two-year bond and the ten-year bond, uh, that the the, uh, the two is paying more than the ten, and uh, we had a reversal like that, and Jeff Stein's wife sold off her stock uh, uh, as soon as those indicators indicators happened, and there was a a definite drop in the market, and then uh, a few months later the market went back up, and now we're getting those indicators again. And, well, uh, I, you know, I, I wish I had sold all mine a while back, you know, yeah. but yeah, because I've lost about on one thing. I've lost about three thousand dollars this year and another one, maybe four or five. Yeah. Well, you know, when I was married, my ex handled all the investments and she had all the stocks and she had stocks from her father. Mm-hmm. And I really didn't get involved in that stuff. I just went to work every day and. Yeah. came home with check yeah. and 
uh, re, a, a year or two ago, uh, I took a small amount of money, very small, thousand dollars, and I opened up a, a trading account uh, with Charles Schwab. Mm -hmm. Well, a few about a month ago, I sold everything off, and I, I'm up maybe thirty percent. Uh, I was up more than that. But I sold it all, and, and I had uh, Vanguard, and I had uh, uh, some uh, other stocks that had Apple and Microsoft in it, mm -hmm. and uh, Spider, I think they're called. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad I did, because uh, I looked at what it was today, and with the 322-point sell-off that, uh, that uh, you know, they had uh, after uh, the conference, yeah, uh, it was down to where it was when I bought it uh, in 2020. So, uh, and if this uh, reversal of the uh, of the bonds uh, is a true indicator, I think tomorrow is going to be very, very bloody on the stock market. Well, I don't know. You know, I've given up. You know, we'll we'll just sell Marjorie's uh, condo, and yeah. we'll be taken care of okay so yeah you know uh, but uh even the the value on property you know mm -hmm. because uh, now they're the to today or tomorrow they're going up another three quarters of a point mm -hmm. and uh now you know i was i was thinking how could i defend biden in this kind of thing and i and i thought about it and i said you know what what are seniors dependent on they're they're dependent on uh higher interests so that their savings produce interest which produces income and it gives them the uh, ability to to live on that now of course uh, young sa young people that aren't as into savings as they are into spending uh are going to uh be you know behind uh with these things but we you know seniors really haven't had higher interest rates remember there was a day we used to get 10 percent passbook savings uh 10 percent interest your 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 savings doubled every seven years oh i remember uh, you know when i was a kid i i think it was maybe five percent i think yeah. was five percent and and that was very nice you put money in the bank and then every year they gave you five percent and you got some money you made money off of it and 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 you were encouraged as a kid by the way to have a passbook and to have a little savings account that you could go in and you know and then you get your five percent well i now you know i i I just never paid much attention to money okay i left that to my business manager but then i put some money in an account here in New York, in Bank of America, and uh, I went and looked at how much they were paying me in interest, and it was like... Eight cents. <laughs> I had like $50,000 in there, and they were paying me back $3.20 or something, and I'm going, are you kidding me? Well, and they told you don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, I mean, I just, it's amazing to me. Man, yeah. it has been so humid today. Really? I woke up in the middle of the night and I told Marjorie, I'm turning on the air conditioner. Uh, it is in here. I have the air conditioning up all the way, okay? Yeah. And, oh, there, I'm going to even do more. Okay. There we, we go. We've had rain uh, uh, off and on for yeah, but rain, a while. Yeah, but what, we, what we've had here is the temperature has been fine. The temperature right now is 73. And yeah. I'm sweating like a pig. So it's the humidity. It's the humidity, and it's this room, too, the the office. You know? All the electronic stuff. Yeah, although, like, the new machine I bought yeah. doesn't even it get doesn't. warm. doesn't wow. even get warm, you know. Yeah. So. Uh, my uh, trash can gets hot. Oh, the trash can is a... Is a it, <laughs> you could fry hot dogs on top of it. <laughs> so, um, the let's see what else is going on. Uh, you know, so any the the economy was the uh, was the, was the major thing that I was that well I, that I, you I, were paying attention to, you know, uh, and it it's uh, you know I don't understand. I mean I don't know anything about this, but I don't know why raising the interest rate is going to make the economy get better. Well, it slows inflation. Uh, so how does it, how does it slow inflation? 
uh, well, right now there's too much money chasing too few goods. Uh, and so the price of things goes up, the housing mm -hmm. market, mm -hmm. uh, even the stock market, uh, when there's a lot of extra money and not a lot of things to buy, the price of those things go up. Mm -hmm. Well, when you raise interest rates, uh, it slows down, uh, it lowers the, these prices and slows down the amount of buying because it costs people more to, to borrow money. Whether okay, it's so if it's slow, if, yeah, but if it slows buying, then isn't aren't the goods going to charge more for what services if you want to buy them they give to, so they can make if, some if, money? Well, if your inventories increase, then what happens is you lower the price to move those inventories, and that uh, cuts down. Do you on think the maybe this is old thinking? Uh, I, it's you know things don't change that much uh th these are these are basics that uh, they've used before to uh to slow down the economy i mean i but would I, I would say that what you should do is you should probably do something about win windfall profits you know in this particular economy if things are prices are going up on stuff and people are taking in more money, they should have to pay more of a tax on those windfall profits. Things were going up up until maybe uh, late June, July and August. Uh, the, if you look at uh, housing, mm -hmm. there's, uh, there, uh, in certain areas of the country, there's 600 more percent of houses on the market today that weren't on the market in June. So. Uh, it's taking longer for these houses to sell, and uh, you know I would like to buy a house, uh, and but you know I'm also looking at it and then saying I don't want to buy something mm -hmm. at let's say six hundred thousand and have it be worth four hundred thousand in a few months, and then uh, I have a high interest rate because I bought mm -hmm. it at this time, yeah. and then I can't refinance it when the interest rates go down, if they go down. If they go down. And, oh, anyway. So, you know, it's, uh, I heard you on uh, Monday's show, Mandy was uh, looking to buy a house. Maybe she's buying something all cash, and it's and it's not going to affect her, but... Uh, I don't think she, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know her, her income yeah. or whatever, but I can't see how she's going to pay all cash for a house. Well, maybe she sold her previous house uh, that she owned, and but she uh, owned it with her husband, so right. But it could, and that been. was a long time ago. So uh, who knows? Yeah, you never know. It's just, hey, you know, I I sold my house in 2015. If I would have hung on to it until June, it, the Zillow said it was worth 2.2. I sold it for 888. Uh, so uh, it took me 10 years to get back to where. I was, you know, to, when I bought it, mm -hmm. and uh, so, uh, you know, I was. Uh, why did you get rid of that <laughs> house anyway? Uh, why? Yeah. Uh, my payment was fifty five hundred a month, mm -hmm. and and, mm -hmm. and during the recession, uh, I wasn't taking a salary, so I used up savings and equity and things like that. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the '08. Uh, I kept everybody employed. I kept paying the rent, and I kept the the business going. Yeah. But I I used the house as a piggy bank, and then uh, when the value of the house went up to what I owed on it, I was down the road. Hmm. And uh, it was was not the smartest move on my part because I really loved that house. Uh, you know. See, was, I don't know about any of this. You know, this has never been my thing. You know, that's why I have a business manager who has been figuring out what to do with my money and how to best deal with it, you know. I don't, I don't understand these things. It's never, yeah. And it's never appealed to me to understand it, you know. Monday was, money, money was something that you earned, and then as a result of earning it, you uh, spent it. You spent it. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. that was it, you know. Well, uh, so, yeah. He took everybody out to lunch, you know. Yeah. Uh, if you couldn't do it in trade, right, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, well, let's see what else is going on. I, you know, I the the COVID thing. Uh, Biden's not wearing a mask anymore. 
Uh, See, I think, I think, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I'm just, uh, this is ridiculous. I just don't understand it. You know, yeah. I really don't oh, understand. Uh, it. This is one you'll enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess your AG in New York uh, is trying to prosecute uh, Trump. No, it's civil. not trying. Yeah, well, they filed a uh, civil mm -hmm. uh, when the uh, when they said that they couldn't. Uh, file criminal charges. No, they don't want to file criminal charges. They feel that's the job of somebody else, and they're going to turn over what they have to the people who can. So there's mm -hmm. still other charges coming, probably from other government agencies. Yeah. No. Well, we'll we'll see in November uh, if things turn around. That won't that won't change a thing here. Yeah. It will not change a thing. If well, the Justice yeah, Department wants to go after him, they can go after him, whether they win or not in 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 this, in November, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And so far as the AG here in in uh, in New York, uh, the AG is not really going to change hands. She's running again. She'll win, you know. Now, didn't she say that she wanted to uh, prosecute Trump? Uh, uh, because uh, I think it was because she she had political ambitions, and uh, she w she was out to prosecute him from the very beginning. That was something she said a couple of years ago when she was running the first time and w didn't have the office. Right. And somebody asked her, "What would you do? Would you prosecute him?" She says, "I'd go after him, absolutely." Yeah. You well, know, well, I mean, but she did and kept up to her promise. It wasn't a fact that she was out to get Trump. It was out to the fact that Trump was doing something wholly illegal. No, well, I guess we'll. I see. mean, how do you how do you say that your apartment, which is uh, eleven hundred square feet, mm -hmm. okay, is thirty thousand square feet? Uh, eleven thousand square feet. Excuse me, eleven thousand uh, square feet, and then say it's it's thirty thousand square feet when it I isn't. Guess. Is that, well, is, is that like the 10 floors that are missing from the Trump Tower? <laughs> yeah, well, th that's an atrium. Uh, the, the, these people are, are uh, you know, he lies like, you know, he, he lies about everything. Uh, Mar-a-Lago, he estimated the worth of Mar-a-Lago at uh, something like $675 million dollars. When in fact Mar-a-Lago has been assessed at being twenty-five million. Well, you know he paid five million for it, and, and you know how he was able to. Or actually, I think he he offered five. They turned him down, and I think he paid less than that mm -hmm. because he bought the beachfront property in front of it and threatened to build uh, a uh, uh, a house or something that would have taken away the view. Of the uh, of Mar-a-Lago, so they acquiesced and sold it to him. Yeah, but you know he was never supposed to live in there. By uh, by the deal he made with the state of Florida, he's not supposed to be living there. Uh, yeah, I don't understand how he's able to do it, but I I heard I heard well, because about because of more of his lying, more well, of his uh, you know. Let me put it this way: he's tried to say that he is a multi-billionaire when he's really not. And the banks have been lending him money based on the fact that he's been cooking the books to make it look like he had several billion dollars. Now, uh, that's what they're going after him for. That's, fr that's fraud. That's, gaining, well, that's getting money out of banks by presenting them with false facts. Well, uh, as, as I said... Why don't uh, you just admit the guy's a fucking crook, Phil? I, I, I don't think he is. Why? Because I, I, I want to hear people politically motivated. How to try do you to how do you down. say no no Phil? How do you say you've got thirty thousand square feet of of, uh, of of what do you call it, residential space in Trump Tower when you only have eleven hunt eleven thousand? Oh, you you put a closet in the garage. No no no! And, don't don't make a joke about it, Phil. Uh, how how you do know, you I how do you, how do you do that? Why do you do that? I don't know. You know, those things are supposedly, when they build these places, all of that stuff is county records. If, if it's a county record and it shows that it's 30,000 square feet, he's paying 
He's paying taxes on 30,000 square feet. But, they, any, but, but according to the Attorney General, according to the City of New York, it is only 11,000 square feet. Well, I guess we're going to see. No, uh, uh, what do you mean we're going to see? It is. I mean, uh, you well, know. Think about it. If he, this, if this, he, is, this is a civil suit. What this is going to do is prevent him from doing a lot of things that before he was able to do. Well, what, what, who, who gets hurt? For him to say that something's 30,000 square feet if it's 11,000 or well, vice versa. Oh, I do, because if he isn't paying his taxes, and if he's using all this falsification to get out of taxes well, and also to borrow money, he's costing me money. This, this is the problem. If something that's 30,000 square feet should appraise for a much higher price than something that's 11,000 square feet. So if you're going to be assessed a tax base, and you're claiming it's 30,000 square feet, you're actually paying more tax. There is some kind of deduction he got for that. I don't know how they did it, but the, all of this is part of what they're claiming, is that he did everything he possibly could to jimmy-rig the, the numbers oh. so that he got loans from banks, so he maybe paid lower taxes for one reason or another. You know, I well, mean, he, now, he has been a crook from the very beginning. Well, that, that he's a crook be, now, and he will be a crook forever. So well, we may as he, well butt bust the motherfucker. Okay? But think about this. That, that could be what he did wrong. Phil, it, Phil. Say, no, 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 think number about one, it. Number one, Phil, this is just the beginning of his troubles. Okay. Well, we'll see, no, but, no, no, you're saying we'll see. No, there's no we'll see. It's going to happen. Okay. Do, do you know Thank what the, the, the other thing is? Yeah, this whole thing was the, what's go, uh, go, oh, uh, it, oh yeah he he said that Mar-a-Lago is worth six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Seventy-five million. Six hundred seventy-five million. Uh, well, do you know how much it was appraised at? No. So you said twenty-five. Twenty-five million. I, I got to believe it's more than that. Well, no, no. He. I it, mean, they're selling houses down there that, that are four bedrooms. According, houses according to million. Letitia James, the Attorney General of the state of New York, if he has, if he he was paying so much for um, uh, rent on, uh, he was claiming that his apartment was worth so much and that would make it the most expensive apartment in all of New York City. Uh huh. And it's not even close. Well, okay. look. But anyway, anyway, the point is, there are he houses has more trouble. Trump he has more trouble than that. I mean, the latest thing with the special master and all of that, uh, telling his people, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too, and the fact that he it, now the uh, DOJ has been given the go ahead to continue their investigation. Well, of course, all the all the special master is going to do is look at these papers and see if they fit what the warrant was about, but. But, they, but he said, what he said was they were claiming, among other things, the old thing about, oh, well, he declassified all those. Right. And, and, he, and, and, the, and the special master has said, you have failed to prove in any way, shape, or form that these have been, uh, that these were declassified. Okay, listen to me about this. What, I'm not uh, listening to you. I'm listening to what's being said in the I'm, court. I'm having a conversation with you. You're not. No, gonna... you're having a conversation with false facts, Phil. Now, look, this is the thing. Trump's defense is saying we don't want to put our cards on the table uh, as far as whether there was um, uh, declassification or not. Uh, that we want the special master to look no, through the documents. but they have to prove, they have to show the special master how it was declassified and when it was declassified. I don't know that that is what they well, want. Well, the, 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 the special master said you can't have it both ways. You can't well, have your cake and eat it too. You can't well, say that these are declassified I, and then not women and then not present any proof that they're declassified. Well, what they're saying is we don't want to present proof No, that's not what they're, they're, they're not saying anything, that, Phil. That, that they're, they're not they're saying, saving. you're you're saying something, you're saying they're saying that they're not saying. The reason no, why the judge this, said this is because they haven't said it. But their answer He's to got the judge shitty was, lawyers, Phil. He's got they, the best they, lawyers he can afford. They want to be able to de, de oh, use Phil. this information further into the case. Oh, Phil. Phil. Where are you getting well, this? Where, where, are you getting, where are you getting their, this? Where are you getting this from? This is, 
Well, a, a lot of it from Sky News, which is Australian. No, it's not. Yeah, it says .au. Sky well, News. Well, that may be that may be their their Australian part of it, but do you know who owns yeah. it? Uh, Murdoch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, a fair American, and <laughs> you know. But uh, yeah, I I see a lot of this stuff on the skynews.au. Uh, that that's where that's I'm simply going to the start. Australian arm of Sky News because uh, originally, not now, but originally Rupert Murdoch was an Australian, right? And uh, that's that's part of that's part of his uh, whole thing is uh, uh, Sky News. But Sky News is Sky News, whether it's coming from England or whether it's coming from Australia. It's all probably coming from the same place. Yeah. Well, I uh, put up behind me, if uh, you think that Trump is going to get convicted, I, I put up, you know, the, the big house, uh, you know, where they yeah, may reopen they, it. They, they don't put people in there anymore. I, well, uh, the, not since the Indians took it over. The, Do you, you remember that when uh, they had to yes, sit in? Yes, I remember they were having a... Uh, they were having a uh, a protest. Yeah, I think yeah. it was a month. Hmm? I think they took it over for a month. I think they took it over for more than that. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think it was like a year or something, if I remember correctly. I wasn't there at the time, so I don't remember it. You know. Yeah. No, I, I was. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, this is... Uh, oh, you're, you're getting some uh, chat here. Um... Uh, I don't see any. Oh, uh, Charlie comes up with 924 Americans dead. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank oh, you, so Charlie. Did do it. Okay. But Biden says there's no more COVID. So Biden says there's no more COVID. Yeah, COVID's over. So those people must have died from the flu. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway, that's of course not what Biden said, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. COVID. You know, it's what Bill thinks he hears. Mm. Bill, when you took economics the one and only time in eighth grade and you get a D, <coughs> hey. I love your signal of recession. That's cute. Hey, That's Alan, yeah. D's get degrees. What? D's get degrees. Okay. He says, hey, I got a D. But, you know, if you get a D, you still pass. It, it, you must really be showing your age, too, Bill. My right. pass book was like Alex said. I've never seen a pass book at 10%. I've seen it at 5%. When I was a kid, it was 5%. Yeah, 5%. Yeah, yeah well, so we doubled it, you know? Yeah, you know, just like Trump does. Just with like his, Trump. With the right. size of his apartment yeah. and so on. Yeah. yeah. Hi there. Well, Hello, Kevin. Hi, Alex. Hi, Phil. How are you doing, Hi. Kevin? Howdy, Kevin? I got to defend you on that, though, Phil. What's that? He did say the pandemic was over. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't say that everybody died from flus. No, but no, uh, it's it. over, you, and Charlie says... Charlie says 924 died from COVID, but the president says the pandemic's over, so uh, it must have been... Uh, but you're you're adding the must have been flu thing. The president didn't say that. <laughs> no, well, he did not say that, no. Well, that's called that poetic did, license. Was over. That was something he shouldn't have said, obviously. But they're 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 doing damage control, obviously. What are the, how do they do do how they do damage control? They say well, they're saying that he shouldn't have said that in the whole bit. But yeah, who's saying? What a late for that. Yeah, uh, probably his spokespeople. Well, yeah. I, 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 Trump must be going broke. What? Trump, Trump must be going broke. He's got so many legal issues around him. He's got he's New broke. York. He's got criminal cases and now a civil case. He's, he's been broke for a long time. Well, we have a pretty good indication that he's not a billionaire. Okay. Oh, definitely. Okay. And now he has all these legal problems. Yeah, that and, was good. And he's going to keep getting those those lawyers that he doesn't pay, and he's going to get the worst <laughs> kind of legal advice possible. I mean, Trump is in a lot of trouble right now. You bet. You know, yeah. and the only they place still got he... more in idle thirty-two at Walmart for lawyers. That's no problem. Yeah, but what I'm going to say is the only thing he's going to make money off of is uh, asking people to send him money. You know, which he does, and, and he's and he's getting a lot. A lot of people are sending him money. Uh, Not enough you know, to take care it, of this, Phil. Uh, I don't know. 
just uh, goes to show you how many fools there are in this country. The, um, you know, talking about uh, what I was talking about earlier, you know that Walmart for the holidays uh, usually hires 140,000 uh, extra employees. Mm -hmm. uh, they're only hiring 40,000 this year. So if Walmart is an indication of the economy and what the middle class and uh, working people are doing, uh, you know, I, I don't think things are going to bode well for. Uh, I, I think Amazon's taking their business, Phil. Uh, Amazon's getting a lot of their business, yeah. Yeah, so they, they're not going to hire as many people. It was in the news. I, I have stock in Walmart. It was also on their. Uh, on their stock thing a month ago that they don't need to hire as many people because Amazon's taken over. So, Well, Amazon is closing warehouses and they're, uh, they're being affected by the economy as well. Uh, Everybody is. Everybody is. Uh, so they're, they're, I, I want to ask you something about your stock account. You put a thousand in, you yeah. made it, you made 30%, good. And then you sold it. Good. Smart moves. Yeah. But if you held it another five years, it might be worth double, huh? And well, you, and you didn't need the money. Well, this so is what stock, I'm thinking. It's still stock, sitting. It's still ahead. sitting in the Schwab uh, money market thing. Okay. Uh, so what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for the stocks to go down and then treat it as a buying opportunity, and I'll take that and, and I'll and I'll buy something with it. So the, the, the 300, say it's $300, you can make $1,000, 30%, $300, yeah. you're going to get taxed on that. You're going to let that, you're going to let that $1,300 sit in cash account and buy when the stocks go down. Those are smart moves. The trouble is that doesn't say there's a recession coming. No, uh, what the uh, indicators of the recession was when the uh, bond yields flipped. When they reverse. Uh, yeah. And that's happened again. And the last time it happened, Jeff, his wife, uh, recognized that, sold off all her stuff. She sold off at the high. And uh, good. And I didn't. You I know, wish I had her crystal. I would have made sixty percent. Yeah. I have yeah. a I have a much larger stock portfolio than you do, Phil, as you know. And I, I I've lost about I don't know, thirty thousand dollars in this year. Really? But I haven't really lost anything because I haven't sold it. Exactly. And in a couple of years, it'll be worth more than it was at the starting oh, of the year. Wait a minute. Hold on. By the way, Phil, do you know who the uh, the last time we had a serious recession almost drove us into a depression called the Great Recession? Oh, 2008? No, that was th this was when Reagan was in office. Well, we've had a number of them. We've had recessions, but not the Great Recession. Oh. So. Look, looks like Jeff is in a hotel. How do you know that? Uh, I so can tell smart. from the art. <laughs> when the art matches, it's usually a... Oh, a oh that's low. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Phil, you were right. Yeah. Where are you? We're in Massachusetts, uh -huh. in the Cape. Nice. Uh, are you uh, looking for, uh, are you in, uh, what's the name of that town that all the refugees went to? Martha's Vineyard. Martha's Vineyard. No, we're not in Martha's Vineyard, but we're close to that. We went by it. Yeah. He's in Socialist Massachusetts. <laughs> it's got a Republican governor, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it does. that's, that's, that's the real weird thing. DeSantis is Republican and the governor of Massachusetts. And the Santas is the Santas is being sued by the people who got sent up there. I he hope they take, take them to the cleaners. He didn't take them from Florida. He took them from Texas. They came from oh, Texas. They went from he Texas, Texas to Florida. He they spent were, Florida taxpayer money to do it. Right, which and is illegal by have, Florida law and illegal by federal law. Well, I think, and now all of those, he, I saw a press conference, and he said that the people that were on those planes that went to Martha's Vineyard signed a release and said but that they, yes, they, they, but because they were lied about about why they were going. Well, I, Bill most didn't of them get say that. It's pretty and, nice up there, and so, the, but no, you know, that's a stupid statement, Phil. It's not yeah. right to take people oh. and literally tell them they're going somewhere because jobs are waiting for them. Mm -hmm. That was what they were promised. Now, think about it. In Martha's Vineyard, you don't think there's 50 gardening jobs, 
and 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 other other types of jobs. Phil, where these Phil, could you're work. being absolutely racist. Well, it's it's you know, uh, you know, is it all they all they're good for? I mean, you don't know that some of these people aren't physicians for crying out loud. Well, if they were physicians, they'd be able to get into this country without having to cross oh, the real Oh, brand. really? Not since yeah. Trump they have. Not, not since Trump they haven't been able to. So, so yeah, Bill, because you, Trump you, wanted you the best. This, let's see, the other day you called this a humanitarian thing by DeSantis, except for DeSantis put one of his own people on the plane to take pictures. Yep. And he wasn't. And so... That, that sounds more like a publicity stuff, like the media. What, what if it was for the security of the migrants? They're saying that they that he did it for political purposes and for political cachet. Of course, that's what they're Fox saying. News and and that's and, and of course that's why he did it, Phil. No, he oh, did, you think it, he did it because he really cared about these people. He, well, he did it because oh the, come on, Phil, Phil, why, do you, why you know why? You're you're not a stupid I like guy. DeSantis. You're not a stupid. It, what what Look, is it about DeSantis you like? Why can't you like a good person for a change? He is a good person, but think about this: these places say they're sanctuary cities, but they're letting <clears throat> Texas and Florida take the brunt of of no, no, all no, no, these ta- millions ta- ta- millions ta- ta- of with, migrants. Florida is not taking the brunt because Florida is not along the border. Okay, yeah. Texas they, is along is taking the brunt. The reason they got some of them is because the governor of uh, the great state of Texas shipped them to Florida, and then Florida shipped them to, you know, Martha's A lot Vineyard. of the migrants now are from Venezuela, Cuba, and Haiti. Mm-hmm. And what do they, you know, well, I I'm think that maybe the Haitians speak French, but... Uh, I know that the Venezuelans and the Cubans speak Spanish what is, what is and it's be a natural place. Phil, what is the point you're trying to make here? I'm, I'm making the point. No, you're not. Is, you're not making any point. Yeah, you ship all of these people into into Florida because uh, of uh, the there's Nobody no Nobody shipped them to Florida except DeSantis. DeSantis is being sued by Texas no, for he's kidnapping being sued their, by, their people. And taking them to Florida so they could send them to Mark. Well, hey, will you let Charlie? Will you let, will you let Charlie talk for a second, Phil? Yeah. One liberal sheriff. Will you let Charlie talk, please? Well, yeah. The sheriff happens to be a law enforcement officer in the state of Texas, and these people were taken from Texas. I don't yeah. care whether he's liberal or Democrat or what; he still has the the authority to sue. It's it, DeSantis it, for kidnapping people from. From San Antonio. Because he took them, he took they, they were dropped off in Florida, and then he took them from Florida and flew them under false pretenses. These yeah. You say it's false. I was say, false. They got the damn brochures false. where they're promising them jobs and, and yeah. be accepted with open arms and all this stuff, and he they, didn't notify Mark yeah. Vinci that they were coming. They got they're gonna send them to the carpet they stores phone. next. They're gonna send it to the carpet stores next and promise them jobs. Yeah, hey, I, I'd hire them. <laughs> you know, right, right now, uh, you know, I if they could fog a mirror, I'd hire them. Yeah. But you know, AOC had an interesting statement today. Hmm. She said that uh, uh, that because uh, Americans are sort of aging out and they're not replacing workers uh, to contribute to Social Security and, and other and taxes that by bringing in these migrants that they'll work and contribute to social security and prop up social security it wasn't a wasn't a bad statement i mean i i usually don't think that a anything that comes out of aoc's mouth is correct but you know why now, now you know how we feel yeah yeah but uh you know on the other hand that <laughs> made a lot of sense well it makes sense but it's still not true it's still not right it's still not uh, well, I mean, it's still not the right thing to do because these people work here and they, they pay into Social Security and they cannot receive Social Security. Well, if they don't. Uh, kind of like people to, move from Phil's job. Where he according, according to Biden, uh, if they're, once they're here, then they're here legally. Now, whether they can vote or not, that might be a different story. But if they're in this country, why, uh, why couldn't they work? And contribute because they ha- they need a green card in order yeah, to work. Yeah, they have to have a green card. 
and, yeah. do, and they don't have some sort of temporary status when they you need come in a green card as a refugee you need a green no, you card don't know that. so does that mean we're going to have to support all of these people mm -hmm. these families and 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 uh, and millions of people that uh are going to drain uh yeah maybe you know, we might have to <laughs> phil so what listen i'm going to tell you something That's i've been watching wait a hold on and and shut up now let me just talk sure. okay because you have, I haven't had a chance to talk because of your filibuster. <laughs> Spelt with P H I L. Filibuster. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the best thing that Shrek ever invented. Can I say what I'm going to say, please? Yeah, it's a filibuster. Huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, the point is that I have been watching the Ken Burns documentary on the United States and the Holocaust. And if anybody, if you haven't seen it, folks, you really should watch it because you find out, you know, what this country is really about and how badly we handled that situation and how many people died because we didn't become the country we believed we were. And I sat there for six solid hours and just was livid, just absolutely livid. And I came away from it with the idea that well, simply, I hate America, and I'll tell you why I hate America. Because when I was growing up and I went to school, I was taught a bill of goods about what this country was and what it believed in and how it, how it lived up to that. And even at that time, we weren't. You know, we were treating blacks terribly, and especially in the South, but not just in the South, everywhere in the United States. We didn't come to the rescue of the Jews in Germany. Quite the opposite, 95% of the population in this country didn't feel that the country should take in Jews. That's how anti-Semitic this country is. And I gotta tell you, after I watched this, I just, I looked at Marjorie and I said, you know, I just suddenly realized when I was growing up, I was taught all these things in school and they were a lie. They were just simply some kind of propaganda about what this country was that I was supposed to swallow in order to be able to graduate high school, you know? And uh, I, if you watch this thing, it will sicken you how we handled this situation. We've handled other situations. Oh, very no, well. don't give me it's that. Happened. Don't give me that, What's Phil. We're not is, talking about that. We're not we're, talking, we're talking about, about um, the attitude of American exceptionalism. And uh, what does that mean? Well, this is what we were taught that America was the best place in the world. Yes, right. And, and it was a lie. And, uh, it was a lie. Well, I, I don't know. You know, there's there's a lot of countries that uh, exist today and people that are eating today based on the largesse of uh, of of America. You're talking not, about not only you're it's talking, people, you're, but it's Phil, government. Phil, Phil, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. You're talking about it in terms of, well, hey, we made these people money. They should love us. Is that what life? That's no. what is that what it's all about? I'm that's talking. Your I'm talking about problems. humanity, and I'm talking about saving lives, and the fact that we wouldn't save lives, and we wouldn't save lives not only of Jews but of gypsies as well, and a lot of other races that uh, that uh, Hitler's Germany was going after. He was out to kill every Jew in Europe, <clears throat> and he managed yeah. to get rid of three quarters of them. Okay. And we sat around with our finger up our ass, not doing anything. And it was it was governments that took away people's right to self-defense. In this country, we have the Second Amendment, so that this doesn't happen. Why do you think Biden wants Phil, to take Phil, away? Phil, why the is it that you always do? You always come up with something else that happened that is, of course, bad, but doesn't justify what I'm trying to say that they that we did. I'm not, we I'm did not nothing. To we did it. nothing. I'm, we did I'm nothing. To put across and, and, and so far as I'm concerned, this country sucks. This country stinks. Well, don't and let I am the sure. I, I, yes. I, listen, I would be gone in a second if I if I weren't the age I am. Okay, but I I can't I can't leave now at this point. It, it, you know. But uh, so far as I'm concerned, this country sucks. This well, country has always been hypocritical. It has always, you know, what they, what, and if you watch this thing, 
if, you, if I can get you to watch six hours of it, and you don't come away as a Jew being absolutely disgusted by the United States of America, uh, I, I'd be surprised. I, well, I wouldn't I give you... Watch, hmm? I try to watch the last documentary that you told me to watch, and I, <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, accept the premises that were being used on the Trump deal. Uh, I, I just did not believe that their premises and their... Phil, uh, you don't want to believe anything, and I'm not going to be able to prove anything to you. So if you want to live in a certain, uh, a certain life of denial, go ahead. You know, I can't do anything about that. But the I, fact is... You don't have to. But the fact is, I've come to the conclusion, this country sucks. It really sucks. And what I was sold was a bill of goods, just like those people who went up to Martha Vineyard were sold a bill of goods, and just like everybody's been sold a bill of goods over the years. And anybody who set, accepts this bill of goods is a stupid, idiotic moron. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you calling me Tony? Huh? No. no Tony's smarter. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get on the show tonight. Um, well, uh, poor Tony, uh, he's going through some stuff, so we should all send him some good wishes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know. I sent him a get well uh, teddy bear. I know. He said that it was very kind of you. I'm a kind person once in a while. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I think this country offers uh, a lot to people that are willing to work for it. Uh, you know, uh, there, there's so many things that you're not allowed to do in other countries, even even England. You know, you're, you're under a monarchy and they tell you what to do and not to do. In this country, we have. Um, we have oh, the yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a great country. Just to, to, to work. Just and, tell just to, just tell a black American. This is a great country. OK, and there's just try to tell women in this country that it's yeah. a great country. So, Charlie, you, you weren't offered, uh, you didn't uh, get an education because they held you back because of your color? No, he got his education in spite of it. That's, yeah, and yeah. that's what Americans do. Have to do it in spite of it? Where a white person, a stupid white person can skate right through the educational system, right. but a black person has to do better? Well, I was the part of the class that made the top half possible, the bottom half, but, uh, and, and everyone should thank me for that. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, on the curve. But uh, you know, in this country, you know, it, it may not happen to everyone, and it takes a certain amount of luck, and it takes a lot of dedication and effort. Oh yeah, yeah. Pick up your the old bootstraps, right? Yeah, you know what well, happens hey, when you pick yourself up by your bootstraps? You fall flat on your ass. Well, that's your that's your opinion of uh, hard work. No, it's my my it's my it's my feeling that I'm dealing with uh, with physics here, and I'm sure Charlie, who is very well schooled in this, will agree that if you try to pick yourself up by your bootstraps, you fall on your ass. I I don't agree with that premise. You you know if if you work hard, you save, which I didn't do. Not uh, a premise. It's not a premise. It's the truth. Right. It's the truth is that if you work hard, uh, that's many the bullshit we were sold. Well, that's, that's the bullshit we were sold. Yeah. Well, yeah. there are millions of people that work very hard and don't get anywhere. Well, look, look at look at the people that are on the screen tonight. Uh, <laughs> you had you have a, a, a talented broadcaster that was paid very, very well during his uh during his career uh alan uh he he's done very well in real estate uh brian he's he's he started with a company uh he was the number eight employee of that company and his dedication and and hard 75. work close. pardon me 75 is close oh okay <laughs> 875 but you know there's thousands now but you know, he stuck it out. He was dedicated, Phil, and that, he one, has a very good life. We're, that's not what we're talking about. Yes, it is. No, we're what not. Americans no, we're not. Do. no, no. I don't feel that America handed me anything. I don't feel no, that nobody, I'm. Nobody I don't feel. I don't, I don't think I'm successful because I lived here in America. I'm successful simply because 
uh, I was, I think, pretty talented at what I did, and I was able to con people into listening to me. It wouldn't have made a damn bit of okay. difference if you were on the Russian Broadcasting Network. You wouldn't have been paid anything. Uh, you were, hey, you were I, I, wasn't, I, was, you I hate to tell you this, Phil, and you may find this amazing. I was never in it for the money. Well, I, you I, know, I, if I, I hadn't made a penny over the years, I would not feel bad about it because it was the, it was the job that I loved. Right. Well, you did what it is you loved. And, uh, you know, and, and a lot of us, that's <clears> what we do. Phil, all I'm saying is, to begin with, uh, you want to say, well, gee, you couldn't have done talk shows and have the freedom to say what you said on the air. I didn't have, a free, I didn't have freedom to say what I wanted to say. What I uh, really wanted to say, I had no freedom to say. Because I would have been out of work immediately, or I would have been ha hassled by the Federal Communications Commission. I would have been shut up if I had said, for instance, what I'm saying tonight, that this country sucks. Well, you can't have anarchy, uh, you know. Uh, well, that is an anarchy, Phil. That's freedom of speech. Uh, well, there's a certain amount of freedom of speech that you can have, but there is oh, also... Oh, now you... No, wait a minute. Freedom of speech is not a freedom of speech except. There is a, a freedom of speech uh, has no limits. What All about right. fire in a crowded theater? I know they always bring that one up, and that's the stupidest okay. analogy. What you about can make. Trump in the White House? Same well, thing. Yeah. Fire in a, yeah. You know. Same I mean, difference. fire in a crowded theater. Uh, you should be able to say it in a crowded theater, but you also should be taught that it's your responsibility not to. But that's not what I'm talking that about. Cause a that's not what I'm talking about. I'm telling you about, I never had a complete freedom to say what I wanted to say. Let me just, simple example, let me on radio suddenly say the word fuck. Right, the seven, the, what do they call it, the seven words that you can't say? Yeah. Or, well, why do you always have to change, I'm just well, trying, I'm just I'm trying to make a point you. and then I you. I don't finish they, what he's saying, Bill. You know, well, you, and then you. Daddy couldn't no, say fuck. And, uh, I, I couldn't say fuck on radio, couldn't. Yeah. Shouldn't I be able to if it's a free country? No. No. Why uh, not? Because the Because people airwaves, might hear the dirty words. The airwaves belong to the people and there were certain uh, 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 mores. I had, that... I had the best lesson on that one. I went into I went into my uh, general manager at WPLJ here in New York, which was ABC. And in the discussion I said to him, Well you realize the airwaves belong to the people. And he said, no, the airwaves belong to ABC while you're here. <laughs> and that's well, exactly the way. The fact was that the airwaves didn't belong to the people, and the FCC never did the job they were supposed to do, which was be an ombudsman for the people. They simply made a lot of rules that made it very difficult for us to have freedom of speech and to say what we really thought about what was going on about in the world around us. Do you think that uh, being able to use those words would have made a difference? No, I don't think uh, the using being able to use those words. But you're saying I, you know, people say, "Oh, you had the freedom to say whatever you wanted to." No, I didn't. That's a but perfect example. Maybe, not on the radio, but you could have went into a park, got in a soapbox, stood on the soapbox, and you could have said that. Actually, there was a time where if you got up and used that language on a soapbox in the United States yeah. of America in a park somewhere. They would arrest you for obscenity. Yep. Yeah, well, that's not, not the way not, it is today. Not Phil, though, because he was only a rent-a-cop in Richmond. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> How do you like that one? That's not the way it is today, but there are a lot of other things that, that are around cool, today. Yeah. You know, but the point I'm making, Phil, is that you're, you're, you know, you're making a specious argument. The fact is that I could have, I never in my lifetime got to do on the air what all the things I really wanted to say and do. Okay? All right. Well, you're doing it now. No, I'm not. I'm doing this is the fucking internet, you know? Well, yeah, but it's... There are 30 million people who've got goddamn podcasts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just a competitive environment, you know. If, it's if not competitive. If you wanted to hear it's, what you had to it's say, not, it's not you would have more listeners. It's not a competitive. Uh, it's not competitive at all. No, no, not when there's all of these podcasts. No, no. The people who have the podcast that are doing exceedingly well 
by the people who have people backing them to spend the money to be able to give them the promotional money to be able to get people to know they exist in what is a cacophony of podcasts. So no, no. Do you think Charlie, if he wants to start a podcast tomorrow, is suddenly going to have a million people listening to Charlie? No, yeah, he's no, he's got to have the money to back him. You know, he's got to have the money to publicize it. You know, but otherwise, you're going to get your little audience, and that's it. You know, how do these people get uh, seven hundred and a million followers? You know, seven hundred thousand million. Because followers. they've got backers who spend the money to be able to promote them, these, Phil. These I are just, nobodies. I just said it to you. It, it, but if you if you've got the ability to go out and promote yourself, and to get people to go out, if I could go out and hire a big, high-priced uh, PR person to go out there and, and make my name known and say, everybody's listening to Alex Bennett, yeah, I could probably get a million viewers. Yeah, well, absolutely. I, I have a friend with 700. Oh, don't give me that bullshit again. I'm and tired. He doesn't have anybody I don't, but himself. I don't care how many he has. That's somebody else doing something completely different, you know. Uh, cameras. You know. Yeah. And he doesn't have half the talent I have, so fuck you. <laughs> well, maybe not as a broadcaster. Yeah, well, but he's broadcasting. Yeah, because he's teaching photography. Oh, he's teaching photography. Yeah. He's got how many people? Seven hundred and something thousand. Oh, good for him. Yeah, yeah. there's a yeah. Gr little girl doing her makeup tips who's got yeah. uh, got a billion. Okay. Uh, he he's got a bunch of channels. One of them is just eating out at restaurants, and he's got uh, thousands and thousands of followers. What are you trying to do? Make me feel bad and bore everybody no, but, else uh, here with this story? Now, what he happened? Good job of boring us. Yeah, it what is a boring. Happened, it is boring because uh, we've heard him talk got, about this guy before. Okay, you've had two thousand views on your turtle excursion. Uh, what happened to the to the next time you did it? Uh, not as much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I look. I I am. Listen. I've got. I don't have a lot of people. Watch, watching this, but I have more of the the amount of people watching this that some people would be happy to have. Yeah, you know. Well, so I mean, it's all you have loyal callers. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Think about it. Look at these guys. They're they're loyal callers. But not not everybody's as lucky as I am to have somebody like Charlene call the program. That's Something right. Like that. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Charlene Martinez from New Jersey, Tony with a vagina. Uh, that's, that's, uh... <laughs> I went into that thing where you can add stuff. I was so happy. Like, when I learned how to tap to pay, I got excited, too. <laughs> what? When Tony you what? with a vagina. Oh, oh, Charlene Martinez from New Jersey, Tony with a vagina. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm always afraid to touch stuff in there because I don't want to mess it up. And, but I was and, able to go in there and do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you thought there was no free speech. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I you know I watched this thing on the Holocaust, and I, I mean I knew it was terrible, and I, I knew what we did it was terrible, but I didn't know the extent to which we did it. The head of immigration in this country was an anti-Semite, okay, and what he did everything possible to make sure that European Jews couldn't get visas to come to America. Uh, you know, uh, even Ford, uh, support, uh, Henry Ford supported Henry Hitler. Ford was one of the biggest assholes in yeah. the world. Oh, yeah. He, he was building the railroads that would and take him the Jews to the camp. And supporting Hitler. How about IBM? IBM made the punch cards that they used to keep track of all the people in the concentration camps. Uh, Matt's got 681,000 subscribers. I don't give a shit. All right. Well, that doesn't mean he's any good, because I got to tell you, that girl with her makeup tip sucks. Well, he almost moved into your building. I had suggested it. Oh, good. Uh, it's just what I need, another <coughs> guy with a camera. Yes, uh, Charlene. What was the uh, documentary again? It's on PBS. It's called the United, the United, United U.S. and the Holocaust. Okay. And it's uh, six hours long if you watch them all end to end. And I'm telling you, after three days of that, I was pretty goddamn depressed 
Yeah. You know, um, but I mean, it shows you. It, it, what I want when I watched this, I just said to Marjorie, I said, you know, when we were growing up, we were lied to. We were we were fed this lie that America was the greatest country in the world, and we come to the defense of those people who have no friends and blah 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 blah, and. and Meanwhile, you're watching this thing, and you got the head of immigration in the United States refusing to let Jews into the country. And if he'd let them in, we would have saved some lives. We we finally let something like two hundred twenty-five thousand in, but you know when you think about six million, it's it's a, a small amount of people. Um, and by the way, they say six million died in the concentration camps. Yep. They don't add to it all the people that died in other ways as a result of being Jewish gypsies and whatever. So, you know. Uh, but it's it, it, very sad, very sad, and very depressing. And, uh, you know, I mean, I would feel better to grow up in Spain and know that at least during World War II, Franco took in a million Jews. Million, yeah. A million <laughs> Jews. Wow. Uh, but he told them that you had to migrate somewhere else as soon as you possibly could because, as he put it, this country can't afford to have all of you in here at the same time. But he said, uh, but what he did was, Hitler, before he started with the concentration camps, said, I will give as many people as many Jews as any country wants to take. And Franco said, I'll take a million. And nobody to this day can honestly knows why he took a million. That there was something, and there was, it was a story that it may have been that as a kid he had very good relationships with, with a, a, some Jewish families. And he felt an affinity towards Jews. And you think it was for the money? No, uh, that, there wasn't money. But, there wasn't. but the Jews were paying for passports and papers and things like that. That's how Porfirio Rubiosa some made Some of the... Right? Phil, watch this documentary. Some of these Jews left Germany without a cent in their pocket. Okay? And they went into Spain. Without a cent be, in their pocket. It could also be because uh, before the Moors came... You know, you're Spain, trying... Moors. Oh God! The Moors. Well, it, 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 it was, oh, it was yeah. a lot of oh, Jews. Oh yeah, it was that all because of, because of the Moors. Yeah, right. Well, there was a lot of Jews that lived in Spain. They oh, had heritage God. there. Oh, no, Jews didn't live in Spain because of of of, of the Moors. No. No, they were. No, as a out. matter of fact, where was the Inquisition, Phil? In Spain. In Spain. Do you think Jews wanted to live in a place where there was the Inquisition? No, but it wasn't that due to the... the Phil, the, you're, talking the about, the you're talking about hundreds of years earlier, okay? God, you sound so stupid tonight. Well, you no. know, there's, no, uh, I mean, there, there's, there's, there's an affinity and heritage there. Somehow you have to find an excuse for evil. I don't think it's evil to uh, to, to you have taken the Jews after the war. A lot of Jews went to Sweden. Uh, I know my friend's parents uh, met in Sweden after the uh, uh, the camps were emptied and uh, were married, and then came to the states. So what does that have to do with what we're talking well, about? You know, the, they did take them into the states, uh, but it was. Do you know that after the war we didn't take them in? Yeah, they, they let him sit out on a on a barge in New Jersey. No, that was that was a different situation. Yeah, yeah. It was two hundred of them. That was a boat that went to Cuba, and it needed another place to go because Cuba wouldn't take them at that point, uh, because too many Jews had come into the country, and so um, the boat started coming towards the United States and wanted to come in and it couldn't. So it had to go back to Europe, and a lot of those people were sent back to Germany and were, were killed. Because we wouldn't take the boat, Phil. Was that after the war or during? It was during the war. What, there were no concentration camps after the war. I know. Uh, Charlene uh, is yes, trying yes, to Charlene. defend New Jersey. No, no, I just was going to say, I think that's that Paul Newman movie. Is that what that was about? 
the, the the people that they didn't let in and they sent them back to Cuba. You talking about I can't Ex remember the Exodus. Exodus is that? No, it? no, Exodus is about Israel. And the and oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, and the um, uh, yeah, yeah. No, um, I don't know if they made a movie about that, about the the Cuba situation. Hmm. But uh, I had a, my, a friend of mine who came from Germany through Spain and <clears throat> took a boat to Cuba, but they had enough money and they could pay um, the Cuban government, who was then, what's his name? Uh, uh, yeah, but not Batista. What, uh, Batista. No, Batista it, was... It was Phil Batista, it, Phil. It was like that. It was Batista. All right. Um, oh, God, please. Dude. Hey, Siri. En enough of president of Cuba in 1956. Batista. Yeah. So suck my dick. Anyway. Yeah, yeah Batista. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, I'm going to be demonetized tonight. Um, it was Batista. Free speech. But anyway, he had to, they had to pay money to Batista not to stay in Cuba, but to, to get into Cuba in order to get papers, which said they were Cuban citizens, and then they were able to migrate into the United States because they had Cuban citizenship, okay? So that's how, how he, as a Jew, fled Germany, and then fled, went to Spain, and then went from Spain to, uh, to Cuba, and then from Cuba to the United States, okay? Uh, your friend Jack? No, it's not my friend Jack. How did he get him? Jack came after the war. He was in the concentration camps. Yeah. Oh. He was in the camps, and he came here after the war because he had a family member over here who sponsored him. He went to, originally. He went to, uh, I think it was Sweden, where they put him in a hospital. He was in a hospital for several, uh, several for a long time, and then when he was well enough, he migrated to the United States, where he had relatives or relations that would take him in, or some sponsors or something. I have to go back and listen to his history, and uh, that's that's how he got into this country, you know. But. Uh, you know, and he's the one that taught me something, which I, you know, I, I, I love the saying. And the saying was, he says, I hate people. I mean, I hate the human race. He says, the human race is terrible. It's yeah, individual right. people. You let me finish what I'm saying, Phil. All right. What? Well, no, why do you keep interrupting? I, I was just agreeing it's it's kind of like having a conversation where you you get some reaction uh you know i alex, said have, you had alex, a right to you, say that what? alex have you ever talked to phil on the phone he interrupts constantly on the phone too yeah what i said about your friend jack was that he had a right to feel that way he well uh, he didn't let me even finish what he said all right what, what did he say, Phil? Why didn't you he tell said, me? He said, he said that he hated the human race. He said it was humans who were terrible. He said it was individuals who had the capacity to be good. All right. That's a and, wise uh, statement. Yes. And I agree with him totally. The only thing is you have to be able to trust people <laughs> to be decent, you know, and, and that's not always the case. You know, um, so when you say that you don't believe that that uh, uh, you know people from South America who are trying to get here because where they're coming from, uh, uh, life is terrible because there are gangs who are killing people and so on, and they're f they're they're fleeing that oppression, and then you say, well, yeah, well, we don't want them here. You you may as well be saying, don't let the Jews in. I'm not saying I don't want them here. I'm saying that I want them, I, we want to know who's coming in. Uh, we want them to be productive members of society. That's what this country was based on. But uh, if you try to go to Canada... By the way, and, by the uh, way, there was no requirement. They, they have a border. 
Uh, there, you know, uh, all the, countries Jeff, have borders, Phil. Jeff's grandfather couldn't even get into the country because he shaved his beard off. Uh, yes, you know. but that's exactly what I'm saying about the United States. You just made my point. But it's the same thing everywhere else. We have borders. We have a country, and we need every to... country has borders. Except, right, but those ex countries protect them. Except in Europe now, where you can go from country to country without even showing a passport. And, and England uh, pulled out of that, called Brexit, because they said that they didn't like the way this was working. They didn't pull out of the passport thing. Uh, Brexit has nothing to do with passports. Has nothing to do with passports. Well, you can't travel freely into England uh, anymore, can you? Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can. From, uh, from, uh, from other countries in the... In Kevin, the, uh, you look disturbed. <laughs> Brian's got his hand up. Yes, Brian. You're muted, Brian. Thank you. One thing that I, when you start talking about how the country is now compared to before, mm -hmm. there's one thing that I cannot imagine because I wasn't alive then, <clears throat> is I can't imagine something so, something happens so bad that everybody would stop what they're doing and change what they're doing to make something happen. So what I mean is like the war, when all the car companies stopped making cars, when everybody started making the airplanes and everybody started making all that stuff, I cannot see anything happening. I cannot imagine that world. I can't, I mean, I've heard it, I've seen it. I know that there are, not, there are no cars, 1943, 44, 45. I mean, I know, I know that but I cannot imagine why. I can't imagine everybody stopping to do all that stuff in this kind of world now. And that's one of those things where the, you, the how people are together and, and there's no way. We just have pandemic and people wouldn't abide by stuff. Well, it won't happen again. Exactly. That because we're so polarized? They're yep. saying that in China that they're going through the same thing, uh, that it's very, very polarized and uh, that, that it's causing divisions between the government and... and it's forced you upon them, though. That's forced upon them. Yeah. 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 yeah it's but different. this polarization is what separates people from joining together and doing the right thing. I think the Russian thing has to do with Brexit, too, Phil. Who are you to yeah. talk about being against polarization? You're, well, you're the poster child the for polarization. I believe the polarization comes from the left. Yeah, but there's two sides. There's a positive and negative <laughs> polarization. It fills on the negative side. Sure, no, it's, it's not it, true. Is there some kind of razor here yeah, where I can slice my do wrists? Do what? I just uh, went and put all my sharp things away. You them put them all your sharp things down. away? Good. Good thinking, Kevin. Yeah. 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 Oh, uh, Alan. I've already drank Curry. all of my stuff. I because Phil is being an exceeding asshole tonight. Hey, come on, call me fat again, Phil. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, no, you're blurry. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, he's o overly blurry. Is that, that what you're yeah, now accusing good, him good. of? I see. Okay. How you doing, Jeff? Any thoughts? Turn on your microphone, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Sorry, I was trying to keep it quiet. But anyway, I'm, uh, Phil is crazy. I don't know where his, he gets these uh, philosophy. It's too wild. It's too I wild. think the problem with Phil is that in the pursuit of defending himself, he gets stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In other words, he just, he just, has to double down. He learned from his mentor, Donald Trump, you double down on everything. You know, yeah. rather than admit Active. you might be wrong. I've never heard Phil say. In fact, after he found out that Batista was the person who was the lead guy in Cuba before they kicked him out, uh, that uh, Batista mm -hmm. uh, was, the, was the president of Cuba, uh, he didn't say, well, I was wrong. He didn't, mm. never used that. He never would say, right. no, I was right, but you weren't willing to admit you were wrong. What's the difference? Admitting mm. it, Phil. It's called admitting I was wrong. Batista was the president of Cuba. 
Yeah, I was wrong. I'm falling on my sword. Wait, wait a minute. Uh. Phil, you were willing to look it up to fight to, to to prove me wrong. I was looking it up to prove whether it was correct or not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when and you did, you and when you did, did you say, Alex, I'm sorry, you're absolutely correct? Oh, I'm so sorry. No, that's what I would you have said so to you, correct. Phil. That's you, kind of, you, that, were, you were so more than correct. That's my style. I, I could send you money. That's my style. That's what I would have mm -hmm. said to you. Yes, well, uh, that's your style. Yes, I Alan. Just said, hey, you were right. Yes, Alan. Hmm. Twice this year, I have said something wrong about Phil on the show, and he has come unhinged and told me that I needed to correct it on the show next time, which I did because I was wrong. That's because you're a putz. But uh, and and you're his and and, and and you're his friend. Yeah, well, that's the, 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 that's how we're friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's you can't call somebody a putz, you can't be their friend. Oh, gee, I just noticed something. Uh, Phantom of the Opera is leaving Broadway. Whew. Finally, at lo last, our long national nightmare is over. Yes, uh, <laughs> Jeff. Well, I, I gotta give you a little answer on. The, to talk about Spain, mm -hmm. that you guys were all experts on this stuff. But I, I just happened to be doing a little research about Spain and, and what was happening. Originally, a lot of Jews came to Spain uh, because of church, because of the original uh, stuff with Christ dying and things like that. Yeah. So a lot of people. The Christ came, dying stuff. Yeah, I've heard about the Christ dying yeah, stuff. You know, yeah. So a lot of people went to. Um, to Spain, okay, a lot of Jews went there, and they, and they stayed here for, I don't know, many thousands of years, and then uh, one of the guys who was running Spain said, you know what, uh, we don't want to have any Jews anymore, if you want to stay here, become a Christian, and about half of the Jews became, They had to renounce being Jewish, they had to renounce, right. they had to yeah, suddenly... And they, they, they went to... And if you and didn't do that, did. if you didn't do that, they would then right. torture you into saying it. Well, a certain percentage of them went to other states, other, other countries, countries yeah. like Italy and uh, Greece and, and and into Africa and you know whatever was close and easy to get to, and well, but a lot of those people got killed in Italy, uh, mm -hmm. in Spain, in I mean, Spain, as, yeah, oh, yeah, as Spain. part of that thing. However. Around 1942, they said, hey, you know what? All of those guys who really are Jews, but they are, act like Christians now, they can go back to be Jews again. 1942. Really? Interesting change. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I just uh, happened to, uh, you know, I mean, I, uh, I, you had the Inquisition. You know, you had the Inquisition. You had all these various things, and I'm just, I kept saying to people, "What is it that we as Jews do to piss people off?" It's, you know, it just seems like I mean, when Hitler hated the Jews, there was no reason. There was absolutely didn't have foreskins. But no, but there was no reason to hate Jews. The okay. Jews have constantly were hated here in America. I mean, during World War II, they were hated here in America. Yep. Why? What did we ever do to anybody? You know? Different. We were different? We were different, mm -hmm. sure. Different than it's what? Not, you know? It's kind of like saying, what did the blacks do? Why did we hate them so badly? We didn't, we didn't hate we didn't the hate blacks. Them. We didn't hate them. We thought of them as, as, as uh, cattle. We thought of them as livestock. Yeah, see, I learned. You know, that. and then when they were no longer livestock any longer, then we hated them. I don't, yeah, well, that's hate to me. Mm -hmm. so. You see. I think there was a fear also. There was a fear. There was a fear. You, you know, know. One of them might be president someday? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the thing is that, that, yeah, he um, was. uh, there, there was always a question what, what the fear the white man had about the black man. Mm -hmm. And I think it had something to do with the fear of what they considered a, a, 
uh, their their strength or their uh, shall we say their sexuality their potency whatever I think there was that element it was a sexual oh, what was it, a, a sexual what's the word I'm give me a word here Charlie I need one a, a, a sexual fear of the black man I think that's huh correct would that be well, a, a good way of why is that why is I that? don't know myth you know I mean I I have a friend who's black and he says where, where how come I didn't get one of those big penises handed out to me I knew that you where know? we were going yeah <laughs> no but I mean I want well, I'll tell you who told, said that to me at one time. It was Jack Bishop. He, yeah. he said that to me. This was years ago. He said, I don't know. And I said, you want to know something else? I want to know where all the rich Jews are because I'm not one of them. You know? Oh, Jews are really good with money. I'm terrible with money. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. What were you going to say, Charlie? Finances. Yeah, I'm terrible with finances. Oh, what did you say? In Wait a minute. Oh, a second, Charlie. What were you going to say? I'm terrible at basketball. You're terrible at basketball. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, Is it and, because you're missing toes, or was it before that? Oh, long before that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I mean, uh, it, 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 it. I but I have no idea why Jews were just so vilified throughout history. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, I think I know the reason now after having met Phil, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I think that if, uh, if Hitler had met Phil, he would have been happy, he would have been happy and satisfied there and stopped it, okay, <laughs> you know, he would have just would killed have him it. off and then felt satisfied that he had taken care of the Jewish problem. Or he would have killed himself. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, what, you know, what, what, Phil? Uh, yeah, I, I was not a supporter of Hitler. Uh, I am, I'm very pro-Jew and very pro-Israel. And uh, you're very ch- pro, pro-Jew and pro-Israel, right? Uh, and right. the two are synonymous with each other. With me, it is wrong. You are wrong. Yeah. You well, are. that's because. Uh, uh, you're not a Zionist. I'm not a Zionist, but on top of that, uh, the Israelis are, in many ways, pretty. I, I don't like them. I don't. I uh, agree with I, Bill. I, you probably don't you, like them because they're Jews. No, I don't like them because I think they have handled the whole thing wrong over there. But we. Why? Because I don't have time to get into it. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't have time to get Tomorrow into night. it. But I think that there, you know, when you when you say we're Jews, we found a homeland, we want a homeland, and then you try and and stop a group of people from having a homeland there, I think that you are engaging in the same kind of uh, no. of, of prejudice. They were and, a homeland, huh? They did they, in nineteen forty-eight. No, no, no let's not get into Palestinians. that. That's all a lie, Phil. That's all a lie. Oh, it, okay. No, the Jews went in there. By forcing themselves in there into the into the Haifa Harbor, uh, they caused the they convinced the United Nations to say that Israel was going to become the homeland for the Jews, and that well, they was just it. Didn't want them in Europe. The point is that there were a lot of other solutions, and we didn't look at them. They, it was simply it seemed like a simple solution, and that pushed a whole bunch of people out of where they lived. You know, but I'm not going to go into the whole history of. Anyway, that's it. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I'm exhausted. I, 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 I'm, I did my job. You, no, you didn't. <laughs> you just proved everything we believe about you, Phil, and more tonight. Thank you. Hello, Brian. Got anything to say? Good night. <laughs> <laughs> anything uh, to say uh, tonight, uh, Kevin? Yes. Okay. Uh, Good night. Uh, Jeff, how about you? Had a great time. Charlie. <laughs> Except for Phil. Good night. And uh, Charlene. Is there anybody else yeah. here I haven't said good night to? <coughs> uh, Alan. Where, where is it? Huh? I'm going to have oh, a great Alan. night. Alan. I, I, I said good night to you, Alan, didn't I? Oh, okay. 
I'm and gonna have a great night. Why? Why? Are you gonna... I bought new sheets, and I I'm sleeping like a baby. Oh, yeah. good for you. Oh. Yeah, they're bamboo. Yeah, bamboo. Anyway, everybody, wave, wave wave goodbye, will you? And I will wave uh, goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Let me uh, just uh, get rid of this, uh, get rid of these people here. And uh, there's no Jack. Jack will return, by the way. He's going to return uh, next Monday, from what I understand. So, yeah, but uh, we'll play uh, we'll play uh, the, the show from the other night with uh, with ja uh, with uh, <laughs> with Josh. Okay. Anyway, I'm Alex, man. That's it. We gotta go. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody.